Hello, stamping friends. Welcome. It's Terry Hartley at Rustic Barn Cards. And today we're going to have some fun making a fun fold. And I'm going to be using the Stamped with Love stamp set. So you will find this stamp set in our new catalog in page 117. And this is um, also the um, includes the Angel Policy stamp so if you love crafting and you want to sell some of your uh, crafting um, products your projects that you make rather if you want to sell your cards or other projects that you make um, you you certainly can do that you just need to include the copyright stampin up and in this stamp set uh, you will find the stamp that you can just uh, stamp on your project and you will be able to uh, to sell that but today uh, we're going to be using um, a couple of our images from this stamp with love stamp set to make a card and um, this image here we're going to use and I also wanted to point out if you're not sure what blocks that you need um, at the bottom here, you'll see the uh, name of the stamp set, and you'll see the N, which stands for new. So this is a new stamp set in this catalog. And the order number and the price, it will tell you how many stamps. There are eight in the set. But it also will give you the suggested uh, clear blocks to use. So it suggests C, E, and G. So um, you can always refer to that if you're not sure of what blocks to use. Okay, let me tell you really quick a couple of things and then we will start stamping. So I wanted to talk to you about my annual catalog kickoff celebration that's going to be next week, May 15th through the 18th. It'll be 1 p.m. Central on each of those four days. I'll be live on Facebook and YouTube at Rustic Barn Cards. Everyone is welcome to watch. Uh, there'll be some prizes. Uh, some other fun things and each day I will be sharing with you a new stamp set from our new catalog so hopefully to inspire you and to show you some new products so that'll be next week so mark that down and then um, our next online global retreat will be July 20th through the 21st and I have teamed up with three other demonstrators from Australia, Canada, and the United Kingdom. And we are sharing our love of crafting around the world. Registration will open up soon. So mark your calendar July 20 to the 21st. For today's project, we're gonna be using designer series paper. And this is actually from another suite. It's from the Countryside uh, suite, but this is Countryside and designer series paper. And we're gonna use that with our project today. And this is a really lovely designer series paper. I love those cute little rabbits. So I'm showing you both sides and this side has some birds on it. We have some stripes. So we have a Night of Navy, Boho Blue, Balmy blue are the colors. So really very and a little fox. So here's the card that we're going to make today. And this is a book binding fun fold because it looks like the binding of a book. And I have used uh, the designer series paper and then I used old olive. And I just noticed, noticed that I just uh, shaded in the envelope just to kind of make it a pop of color. And love you always and added some dots. Now this next card, we're going to be using uh, the same designer series paper. But we're going to be uh, using Night of Navy for our ink color instead of Old Olive. So for this book binder card, we're going to be using uh, five and a half by eight and a half a basic white thick cardstock I'm gonna bring our trimmer in 
and then I'm going to place the eight and a half across the top and we're going to score this at three and then four and a quarter. Then we're going to go ahead and fold on the fold lines. Give that a crease with our bone folder. Then we will open that up and then we're going to add adhesive between the two score lines. Then we're just going to close this over. Lay that aside. And you'll need designer series paper. This is cut at two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then you'll want another strip uh, one by five and a quarter, but you you can do it the same, but I'm gonna turn it over and use the back side for this. This is gonna go in the front of our card. So we'll go ahead and add and then it doesn't look like it really matters which way our designer series paper goes, but it's always good to check to make sure. So this will go on the right hand side of our card in the larger space and then we will add some adhesive on this one by five and a quarter and we will line this up. I want to make sure these edges are the same. And we're going to lay this aside. So I'm going to bring in basic white cardstock. You just need a scrap for the sentiment. And then you need uh, basic white. And we're going to be using um, a die from our scallop contours dies. We're going to be using the third from the largest. And then I'll just die cut that out. And I already have that finished. And now I'm going to bring in our stamp. And I have it on block E, which, which they suggested. And you can tell uh, what blocks that you're using because they are, um, they have a letter on them. All right, now I'm going to bring in our Memento Black ink. Because this is rather large block, I'm just going to go ahead and bring the ink to the stamp. And then bring our scalloped basic white layer in. Now, because it's a photopolymer, I could use a little cushion, my piercing mat, to give it a little bit of a better image, but I didn't. I think it'll be okay. And then I'm going to lay this aside, and we're going to bring in, we're going to use Love You Always and Night of Navy ink. There we go. And then I'm going to go ahead. I'm not going to use Night of Navy on the envelope because um, I want my envelope to be just a little bit lighter than the Night of Navy. So I'm going to go ahead and bring in uh, one of our end colors, which is the light and dark uh, Boho Blue uh, Stampin' Blends.
and I'm going to start with the dark and I'm just going to kind of outline those dark lines that are already there for us on our envelope. And I'm even going to go ahead and trace over the outline of the envelope too. Just like that. Then I'm going to come back with the light. And I'm using this end. You could use either one. This will just kind of give it a pop of color. And I'm going to bring my snips in and I am going to just cut around our sentiment. This is a quick card. You can make several cards in a short amount of time. Bring our card base back in. We're going to bring in some dimensionals. And go ahead and pop up our layer. I've taken the backings off. And then I am going to go ahead. I'm going to place this maybe just up just a little bit. And not exactly in the center, but a little bit more towards the top. Then I'm going to bring this. And you could... Um, place it like right here on the other card I kind of turned it that way to kind of give it a little bit more um, contrast so I'm going to go ahead and kind of slant this again so I just want a dimensional under here and I'll just add glue here so I'm going to turn this over and put a dimensional right here and then I'm going to bring in my adhesive and add that because this is already popped up so I don't need any I uh, don't need a dimensional under there and then we'll bring in some embellishments we're going to bring in the 2023 20, 2025 in color dots and um, you know we have the copper clay moody mauve wild wheat pebbled path and boho blue and so we're going to use the boho blue and and i am going to put two over here and i'm going to put the larger one these come in um, three sizes you have a row of small medium and large And I'm going to put that right down here. Okay. So here is our card. Love you always. Let me show you the sample card that I showed you earlier. So here's our sample card. Using the Country and Designer Series paper on both of the cards. Used Old Olive for the sample card that I shared with you and then the card that we made together uh, we used uh, Knight of Navy for the sentiment and then Boho Blue Stampin' Blends for the envelope. So again um, quick and easy book binder card and uh, you could make one of these in all five of the end colors or any color that you like and you could use this uh, design with any stamp set and today I used it with a Stamped with Love. Again, I'm Terry Hartley, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator in the United States. And 
Next week, I'll be live Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, May 15th, 16th, 17th, and 18th, celebrating the new catalog and bringing a project for each day, uh, or for four days next week at 1 p.m. Central. Have a great week. I'll see you soon. Take care.